Importers have only two months to shift to the integrated online payment platform for local marine cargo and goods in transit insurance. Cargo importers are still relying on foreign insurers, which is costing the insurance industry a lot of premiums and just five billions of shillings in revenue. We have allowed importers, you know, uh, to voluntarily use the system or not during this period up to December. But beyond December, they will have to comply with the law because the law requires that they use local insurance. Paying marine insurance premiums through local licensed companies is expected to ease compensation for damages. As you were supposed to pay to a company you have never seen, and you are not aware or you are not sure whether the premium paid is really meant for any kind of item you are importing, but rather paying to a company in China, Vietnam, or any other country. But this time around, we are saying we have the ease of claiming for any damages or loss of any kind from within our own locality. We are also providing a solution which is intended to ensure that the premiums which are paid are reasonable. As you may know, premiums which were paid uh, before were in 1% and above. What we are providing, the maximum is going to be 0.5%. Kenya already approved marine cargo insurance policy in 2016 to allow importers and exporters insure their goods with domestic insurers instead of using foreign insurers. Betty Ndagiri, NTV Business.